Chicago is an exciting city full of culture, interesting attractions, and culinary experiences you won't soon forget. From downtown to beautiful tree-lined streets with brown houses and a seemingly never-ending waterfront, there's something for everyone in this vibrant city. Chicago draws in millions of tourists each year, and if you'd like in on the action, we've rounded up 11 of our favorite spots in the Windy City that are well worth a visit when you are in town. Without further ado, let's dive in. Number 11. Field Museum The historic Field Museum houses an incredible collection of artifacts and displays that will appeal to children, adults, locals, and tourists. Founded in 1893, it was initially built for the World's Fair. Permanent exhibits include the Ancient Americas, which features Mayan and Aztec artifacts, and the Evolving Planet, which showcases billions of years of history and where we fit into the cosmic timeline. For those passionate about natural and geologic history, the Granger Hall of Gems is nature's equivalent of the crown jewels. Number 10. Chicago Theater as one of the most iconic venues in the city, the Chicago Theater is home to some of the world's top entertainment acts, including stand-up comedians, singers, bands, and other top-tier performances. The Art Deco styling and opulence inside are mesmerizing, and it's easy to kill some time before the show appreciating the intricate ceiling designs and ornate lobby. Guided tours allow visitors not attending a show to learn about the history of the theater and get up close with features like the legendary marquee and dressing rooms once occupied by some of the greatest entertainers in history. Number 9. Wrigley Field The home of the Chicago Cubs is one of America's most beloved ballparks. Located in the brick-laden Northside neighborhood of Lakeview, it has been filled with dedicated baseball fans since opening in 1914. Recognized as a symbol of national pride and nostalgia for the city and fans of the sport in general, the stadium has an iconic charm that has been preserved for over a century. Ivy-covered walls and hand-turned scoreboards keep the ballpark firmly planted in its roots, and it is one of the oldest active major league ballparks in the nation. It's also hosted more consecutive sellout games than any other major league stadium. On game days, Wrigleyville comes alive with street vendors, outdoor bars, and diehard fans. Whether you are here for a game or to experience the crackling energy of this historic venue, visitors won't leave disappointed. Number 8. Lakefront Trail Chicago a nearly 20-mile-long paved path follows the ebbs and flows of the Lake Michigan shoreline, creating the Lakefront Trail. It passes along quintessential Chicago neighborhoods like Edgewater, Hyde Park, Uptown, and Bronzeville, and provides the perfect balance between the natural blue waters of the lake on one side and the stark concrete jungle on the other. Just about every day, you can see rollerbladers, bicyclists, runners, and walkers enjoying the trail. It's also a great way to connect with other points of interest in the city, like one of the many beaches along Lake Michigan, Maggie Daly Park, Promontory Park, and even the Lincoln Park Zoo. Thankfully, dogs are allowed on the trail as well, as long as they are leashed. Whether training for a marathon or simply taking in the views, the Lakefront Trail welcomes all outdoor enthusiasts to enjoy the outskirts of Chicago. Number seven, Chicago River Cruise. Architecture is incredible in Chicago, and there's no better way to take it in than through a river cruise. There's no easier way to move effortlessly through multiple eras of inspired design choices than on one of the dozens of cruise options available departing from downtown Chicago. You can opt for an open-air boat like those offered through shoreline sightseeing, or enjoy a delicious dinner on board an Odyssey cruise ship protected by glass walls. And if you're looking for something a bit more thrilling, perhaps less history and architecture, more twists, turns, and splashes, the bright yellow Sea Dog cruise boats take guests along the river at breakneck speeds. Finally, one of the most unique ways to experience the Chicago River is on a Chicago fireboat tour. As the river cuts through much of the city, it only makes sense that the fire department would rely on the waterway to provide fire suppression support and as a way to reach sections of the city quickly. 
A retired fireboat that was active for nearly 50 years acts as your ferry for the duration of the tour. Number 6. Grant Park Grant Park is the largest park in the city and one of the most beloved. Situated along Lake Michigan and spanning more than 300 acres, it contains some of the city's most iconic sites. The centerpiece of the park is Buckingham Fountain. Modeled after the fountains at Versailles in Paris, it's been doubled in size and remains one of the largest fountains in the world. Maggie Daly Park is a melting pot of recreational activities. With tennis courts, mini golf, an epic climbing wall, and plenty of picnic areas, it's easy to spend an entire day just in this section of Grant Park. The Cancer Survivors Garden is a gorgeous open pavilion with immaculately manicured plants and flowers and is beautiful to visit in the spring, summer, or fall as the landscape changes with the seasons. Number 5. Willis Tower Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, is one of the most easily identifiable buildings on Chicago's skyline since its completion in 1973. Serving as the home for more than 100 companies, it's still the third tallest building in the Western Hemisphere more than 50 years later. But it's more than a 4.5 million square foot office building. For nearly 2 million visitors each year, it's also a thrilling experience. The sky deck and glass viewing platform on the 103rd floor are some of the most sought after activities in Chicago. The viewing platform, known simply as the ledge, juts out 4.3 feet from the sky deck, providing a look straight out, up and down more than 1,300 feet of open air to the street below. Number 4. Navy Pier Navy Pier stretches more than 3,000 feet over the lake and is one of the longest piers in the world. This precious real estate is occupied by several attractions, ranging from carnival rides to live entertainment. Of course, there are dozens of restaurants ranging from casual eateries to upscale dining experiences, all with breathtaking lake views. Our food recommendation? Grabbing a slice of Chicago deep dish pizza. You won't regret it. As Chicago's premier waterfront destination, it is locally known as the People's Pier and acts as a cultural hub for visitors and locals alike. The Centennial Wheel elevates passengers 200 feet above the pier, providing uninterrupted views of the city and the lake. A children's museum provides three floors of fun and interactive exhibits for the younger members of the family, and adults may appreciate a show at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Number three. Magnificent Mile If shopping or window shopping is one of your favorite pastimes, the Magnificent Mile is for you. If the area seems too overwhelming to explore on your own, walking tours are available that highlight the food scene, the area's history, and the architecture that is readily available in the Magnificent Mile. One of the best examples of history and architecture combined is the historical Chicago Water Tower. Built in 1869, it survived the Great Chicago Fire of 1871 and remains the second oldest water tower in the United States. Today, it has been repurposed as the Chicago Office of Tourism, as well as an art gallery featuring local photography and art. When it comes to shopping opportunities, there are more than 450 department stores and boutiques available that will keep even the most dedicated shopaholics busy. Number 2. Art Institute of Chicago Along the perimeter of Grant Park lies the Art Institute of Chicago, which houses world-famous paintings and the most extensive collection of Impressionist art next to the Louvre. The modern wing celebrates contemporaries like Warhol and Dali, and the imposing patinated lion statues outside the entrance provide the perfect backdrop for an Instagram or Facebook check-in and photo opportunity. Several works by Vincent van Gogh are also displayed inside, and the diverse collection spans centuries of styles, locales, subjects, and art periods. The Art Institute sees more than 1.5 million visitors annually and is the premier museum in Chicago. Number 1. Millennium Park Millennium Park is technically a subset of Grant Park, but is so massive it deserves its own entry. 
Public art displays and unique video sculptures exist alongside family-friendly experiences, like Crown Fountain, where people enjoy tromping through an interactive and reflective pool, providing a much-needed respite from the hot and humid summer months. Probably one of the most photographed points in Chicago is the Cloud Gate, most commonly known as the Bean. It's inspired by the qualities of liquid mercury and has been polished to perfection, providing flawless reflective selfies and fascinating image-bending physics. If you're looking for something more calming, Lurie Garden offers two and a half acres of perennials, grasses, shrubs, and trees to enjoy throughout the year. If you want a quiet reading spot, plenty of quaint benches provide a respite from your walking tour. The benches also make an excellent vantage point from which to enjoy the thriving bird life in Lurie Garden. That's it for Chicago. Did we miss a Windy City favorite of yours? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to include any other cities or countries you'd love to see us dive into for a future video. If you enjoyed today's video, let us know by smashing that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel for more great content like this, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're always the first to see our freshest videos. Until next time, safe travels!